Greetings, hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2021 Eofauna Triceratops. I have the Dominant variant here. There are two paint variants of this one. We have Dominant and Cryptic. The Cryptic one has some blue patterns on it. Personally, not a big fan of that one, so I chose the Dominant variant here. Super excited to finally have this one in hand. It's been ages since we've gotten a new Eofauna figure. And one thing that's really interesting about this model is this particular depiction of Triceratops is based off of an unnamed species that's actually older than both Triceratops horridus and Triceratops prorsus. This species has been nicknamed the Yoshi's Trike, and it has a bit more of a squat face on it, and some extraordinarily long brow horns, which looks super cool. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump in and start looking at this model. But before we do that, actually, I wanted to show off the trading card that comes with this model. Every Eofauna model comes with a collector's card. And what I love about this one is you have the same card for both of the models, so you have both of the color variants for this Triceratops on the card. You can see the cryptic one there in the back and the dominant one in the foreground. They make a really nice male and female pair actually with the cryptic being the more vibrant colored male. But anyway, that's the collector's card. Really nice addition. I love that they include those with the models. And here is the Triceratops. And first of all, the detail on this thing is awesome. Love the scalation on it. It's pretty crisp across the body and I really like the different styles of scales they have running across the body. The wrinkles and folds in the skin throughout are really nice as well. Wonderful toned musculature in the limbs and I love those tensing muscles as this thing is almost bracing itself for combat. And one thing that's super cool is if you have both variants of this Triceratops, they're actually designed in a pose to where they can lock horns with each other, which is insanely cool. I love that so much. I'll put a picture up in editing. One part of Eofauna's models that's always been super satisfying to me are the way they do their feet. You can really tell that the animal is heavy and I just love the way that they portray the toes splaying on the ground with this Triceratops. I especially like the back right foot. You can really tell there's a lot of pressure on that one as this thing is bracing itself, locking horns with the other Triceratops or potentially trying to scare off an incoming threat. I also really enjoy the dorsal view of this model. There's just something so satisfying about that sway to the body. It looks so natural just from every single angle that I put this model at. I've yet to take pictures with this one outside, but I already know it's going to be difficult figuring out which angle I should prioritize when setting this one up for some pictures. I just love the pose on this thing, and also the left hind foot is lifted off the ground, which is pretty cool, adds a bit of movement to the overall look of the figure from some different angles, which I think is really great. But anyway, let's move up into the head now. You can see that the detail on the head is pretty nice. Unfortunately though, the detail on the body is better. You can see down towards the nasal area on the snout, there is some smudged detailing on both sides of the face. It gives off this almost low resolution vibe from like a model in a video game or something. It's really strange because you have those small scales like right underneath the eye that just transition up into the nasal area and it looks very smudged up there which is interesting. It's kind of unfortunate when you look at it close up but you really can't tell from a distance so it doesn't bother me too much. I love the eye in that orange color and the patterns on the face are just so tribal and awesome to look at. I also love the patterns on the frill in the orange blotches. The frill patterns are not symmetrical at all, but I think it's a really interesting take and it's just very visually interesting and striking to look at. One thing I will say, unfortunately, is that out of all the Eofauna figures I have, I have all of them except for the Step Mammoth. This one has the sloppiest paint job, and I've seen that consistently with the other Eofauna trikes, both with the cryptic and dominant variants in other images online. Especially towards the snout, you can just see on the right side, there's some smudging of the tan paint onto the beak there. There's some smudging on the markings behind the eye and around the eye. And it looks better on the left side of the face and more crisp, but when you get to the other side, it just looks a little bit rushed from that side. And same with the orange markings on the frill, there's a little bit of bleeding with the paint onto the black areas on the frill and such. And then, actually on the underbelly, just looking away from the head for a second, there is a dry brush under there, but we don't really see that on the underside too much anyway, and it just looks like it was very rushed when it was applied, so... Not a huge fan of that choice. Of course, this is me just being super picky because I'm so used to Eofana's quality just being amazing 24 seven. But you know, just have to point it out. I do think this one has the objectively worst paint quality from what I've seen 
consistently out of all of their figures. The horns look great though. The gradient of colors on the horns look great. I love the tips in the black on the horns there. Looks fantastic. And also one thing that's really interesting about this depiction of Triceratops that they've done is they went for a cheekless reconstruction on the head, which is really interesting. And the interior of the mouth is done in a fleshy pink color. Really fine paint work on the teeth, which looks really, really nice. I love that they included the paint on the teeth there and they topped off the interior of the mouth with a really nice glossy finish to give it a genuine wet look of saliva which is beautiful anyway the only other thing that i really wanted to mention with this one is just the overall coloration in comparison to the cryptic version i wouldn't mind getting the cryptic one at some point in the future it's not a priority for me right now but this color scheme here just speaks to me i love this so much the cryptic one while I love the blue on the head and the patterns overall, the paint on the horns looks really sloppy from what I've seen transitioning from the horns into the face. And then I really don't like the blue socks that they've put on it. It just looks really out of place in my opinion. Besides that though, I still like the cryptic version, like I've said, but I just really prefer the dominant one over it. The dominant colors gives me huge megafaunal mammal vibes. Like it looks like it was inspired off of the coloration of a bison or something with the different shades of brown across the body. And just that hint of vibrancy with that orange on the frill. It's really nice. Love the light creamy patterns on the face, of course. The horns look fantastic as well. This coloration just totally speaks to me and it looks gorgeous. But anyway, guys, I think that covers my thoughts on this Eofauna triceratops i think this one's amazing i love it to pieces and don't let my critiques of the paint quality discourage you from giving this one a shot in comparison to like 90 percent of the other dinosaur models that are on the market this one still like tops all of them in paint quality and application but i'm just saying for eofauna's track record i think this one has a few sloppy areas that were a little bit disappointing when you just look at their consistency with paint quality. But it's really nothing to make me tell you to reconsider if you're gonna get this one or not, so I definitely recommend getting this one. One of the absolute best Triceratops figures on the market, and a really cool new species of Triceratops to add to your collection of the Yoshi's Trike. But anyway, in case you're wondering how large this one is from the tip of the tail to the tip of the snout, we are looking at right about 7 inches long which is right about 19 centimeters. And in terms of the height, the highest point, which is the top of the horns, we are looking at just about four inches, which is right around 12 centimeters. And for our comparison, I wanted to bring out another Ceratopsian figure that we reviewed pretty recently, and that is PNSO's Brian the Pachyrhinosaurus. This is an awesome figure, and I think these two complement each other really nicely on the shelf. Love both of their color schemes, and overall the style of their paint application and just the style of their coloration in general are very similar and I think they look great together. But anyway guys, I think that's going to do it for this review of Eofana's new Triceratops, the dominant version. Let me know down below if you have this one, if you plan on getting this one, and what version of it do you like better. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you all in my next video. So take care, and bye bye